Okay, let's go ahead and find the angle. So what angle am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about this angle right here. We want to find the angle measure of this angle in this right triangle. So this is a course, again, a right triangle, i.e. this angle right here is 90 degrees. This side is 3. This length here is 5. We don't um, have the hypotenuse. Of course, we could easily find that using the Pythagorean theorem, but we don't really need this, okay? What we do need is a calculator and some knowledge of some basic trigonometry. So yes, we are gonna be using trigonometry to solve this problem. So if this word intimidates you, don't let it intimidate you. Uh, this is not that difficult. And if you've never seen basic right angle trigonometry in action, well, uh, stick around for a couple minutes. So I'm gonna give you a quick introduction to this. It's not that, again, not that difficult. And hopefully you'll uh, get excited about trigonometry as it is an awesome math subject. And typically, just so you know, uh, Basic trigonometry is usually introduced in geometry, and then more formal, more advanced trigonometry is something that's generally part of a course like, let's say, pre-calculus. So uh, if you want to learn any of this stuff, you'll find it in my Math Help program, which I'm going to tell you about here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, if you're struggling in math, don't give up, okay? You can do much, much better, but it requires two things. One, you do have to work hard to learn mathematics, so work harder. The second thing you need is great math instruction, clear and understandable. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, check out my Math Help program. You'll find a link to it in the description of this video. It can help you out big time, I promise. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test that has a math section, things like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you study for those exams. If you homeschool, I have excellent middle and high school math courses for homeschoolers. And if this video helps you out, help me out by liking it and subscribing to my channel. But uh, let's go ahead and get in some basic right angle trigonometry. So if you've never seen trigonometry in action, well, you're gonna learn something right now, okay? All right, so let's get to it. And uh, first things first, so here is our triangle, but you can see I have it replaced with, um, I took the sides out and I have O, A, and H. So I'm gonna get to this here in just one second, but let's just look at this triangle. And at first, um, we have some abbreviations. Let's talk about what these abbreviations mean. So here is our angle, X degree. We're trying to figure out what is the angle measure of this angle, right? So we know that this is 90 degrees. And then you have another angle over here, and then we have an angle here. Our focus is on this angle right there. So when you're looking at an angle in a particular uh, triangle, uh, right triangle right here, the side that's right next to the angle that's forming the, uh, the angle, this one right here, is called the adjacent side. So we have an A right there. Now, in a right triangle, the longest side of any right triangle uh, we, uh, we refer to as the hypotenuse. It's always opposite of that right angle. So this side right here is the hypotenuse. This side here is the adjacent because it is next to the actual angle. And then this side over here is opposite. It's the opposite away from the angle. So when we're looking at these um, sides of a right triangle, we have to look at it in terms of this particular angle. So this angle right here, its adjacent side is this side here. Its opposite side is way over here, and then this is always a hypotenuse. So let me go ahead and erase this now. And now we can actually um, be introduced to, to some basic trigonometry, okay? So let me just erase this here so we can get nice and focused. All right, so again, we have the adjacent, the um, opposite, and the hypotenuse. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this little lovely saying right here. Now, if you've never seen this saying, or if you never yeah, have heard this, uh, this is your first time, well, I can tell you this saying has been around for decades. Probably your great-great-grandparents even learned it. But here it is. It's called Sokatoa. Sokatoa. And a lot of you are like, oh, my goodness, what this is, uh, you know, seems like a foreign language. Well, it this is not... It's just a little helpful memory device, a mnemonic, we call it. So SOKATOA, what does it stand for? Well, let's start off with the S-O-H. 
So in trigonometry, in basic trigonometry, we have these uh, things called trigonometric functions. So if you have a scientific calculator, you'll see these buttons here. You'll see uh, sine. That's not a sin, okay? Like, oh, there's just, you're committing a sin by doing math. No, that's not what that means. This is called the sine. Then we have something called the cosine, and then we have this other thing over here called the tangent. So if you have a scientific calculator, you'll find these buttons on your calculator. You need um, access to a basic scientific calculator. If you're using your cell phone, generally the calculators on a cell phone, um, typically on a smartphone, will have like or just like more basic functions, you know, like the basic number operations. So you'll have to kind of switch it to a different mode in order to get these. But you make sure you have access to a calculator, whether it be on your calculator, I'm sorry, on your phone, uh, and I do not recommend you using your phone uh, to uh, study mathematics because you're not going to use it. On, you're not going to be able to use it on a test. Most teachers won't allow that. So get yourself a basic scientific calculator. It costs you all of about ten bucks at CVS or Walmart. And we're not talking about a graphing calculator. We're just talking about a scientific calculator that has these functions right here: sine, cosine, and tangent, and other functions. Anyways, so. These are our basic trigonometric functions. So let's get back to this saying, so katoa. So the sine, okay, is defined as the opposite over the hypotenuse, okay? So the sine of this angle right there is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So we just kind of put that abbreviation, sine opposite over hypotenuse, or that is the so. Okay, so sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. That's how we remember it. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so that's so ka. So again, this is the ka. The uh, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And then we have this last one here, the tangent, which is the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, so that is the tangent opposite over adjacent. So uh, these are the basic definitions of these basic trigonometric functions. Now, there are other functions, but these are the ones that you really need. And you can solve any right triangle um, trigonomet uh, trigonometry problem using these functions. Okay? All right. So that's all this is here. So cut toa. And that's a definition of these functions. But now let's go ahead and match this up to the problem. All right. So looking at this. Here is our triangle. We have three and we have five, and we're looking for this angle right there. So three and five happen to be in what uh, spots? In other words, three is the what side in terms of angle X, and five is the what side? Well, let's just go back to our basic right triangle. Here's angle X. So three is the opposite side, and five is the adjacent side. So the information that we have for this particular triangle is the opposite and the adjacent. So now when you think about that, you're, you go over to your SOCA toe and you're like, okay, which one has O and H? Because that's what I have here. I have the opposite length and the adjacent uh, length of this triangle. So I'm looking for something here, which function has that involves both O and H. So I'm like, oh, this is, I'm sorry, O and A, excuse me, not O and H, O and A. So I'm like, okay, this is O and H. This is A and H. This is not what I need. Oh, I have the opposite and the adjacent. So we're talking about the tangent. Okay, so the tangent involves both the opposite and the adjacent. I apologize for saying hypotenuse there. But um, anyways, um, hopefully you understand that we have a choice. We can try to use the sine, cosine, or tangent, but the way we kind of determine which of these functions that we're going to use is based upon the information given in the problem. So you're like, oh, I have the opposite and I have the adjacent, so I'm going to use the tangent to solve for this angle. All right, so now let's go ahead and see how this is done. Okay, so now, of course, we know that we're going to be using the tangent. So let's go ahead and define the tangent of this angle right here. Of course, is going to be the opposite over the adjacent. The opposite is 3, and the adjacent side is 5. So the uh, tangent of this angle here, tangent of, ang of uh, x degrees, we don't know how many degrees this is, but we do know it's equal to 3 over 5, or the opposite over the adjacent. 
Now, 3 divided by 5 is 0.6. So the tangent of this angle right there, okay, the tangent of x degrees is equal to 0.6 or 3 divided by 5. So this is where we're at right now in this stage of the game. So at this point, we're like, okay, how do we actually find the angle? Well, in our calculator, okay, uh, on your scientific calculator, when you have these buttons, tangent, sine, and cosine, what you have is if you look on that second function, uh, and it's usually right on the kind of keyboard itself, you'll see this little, let me actually write this in a different color, because this is important. You'll see this function here, tan, looks like a little negative one, and then sine, like a little negative one, and cosine, like a negative one. These are called um, arc tangent, arc sine, arc cosine. We actually need these functions right here. So because we're dealing with the tangent, we're gonna need this one. So we're gonna have to use the second and tangent key to bring up this function, okay? So this function here, the arc tangent, will tell us if we say, hey, we have an angle, we know the angle, we have some angle, but we know that the tangent of that angle is 0.6. What is the angle? Okay, so I'll say this again. We have some angle, we don't know what it is, we just know that the tangent of that angle is 0.6. How do we find the angle? Because that's what we want to do here. Well, you bring up this arc function, okay, this arc tangent, so that's going to be tangent negative 1, and we plug in 0.6. This is basically saying, hey, tell me the angle that has a tangent of 0.6. So when you plug this into your calculator, all right, this arc tangent, this tan negative 1, you'll see that little negative 1 there, uh, 0.6, and you hit enter, okay, that's going to tell you the actual angle. Okay, now the angle here is going to be approximately 30.96 degrees. That is the answer. Now let me just um, stress something to you uh, that gets a lot of students in trouble when, they're, when they start messing with trigonometry. On your calculator, there is in the mode uh, part of your calculator um, ways that we can work with different angle measures. There's basically two primary ones. Uh, one is the degrees, and the other one is radians. Okay, the default setting for all calculators is going to be degrees. Okay, so just make sure on your scientific calculator you see DEG. Okay, when you're doing this work, because if you see RAD, you will get the incorrect answer. Okay, a lot of students, when they're studying uh, trigonometry and they have to um, uh, work with radians, forget to put their calculator back in degree mode, and then they get in trouble like that. But as long as you're not messing with that mode, just uh, most calculators by default are going to be in degree mode. Okay, and if this is not a trivial little, de a trivial little detail as this does get a lot of students in trouble. So to make sure your calculator is in degrees because we're trying to find out the angle measure here in degrees. That's what this little round circle up there is. So again, uh, it's going to be, of course, I'm rounding off here, but the angle here, angle X, is going to be approximately 30.96 degrees. That is the answer. Okay, so how did you do? Did you actually do this on your own? I mean, if you knew how to do this already, I must go ahead and give you a nice little lovely happy face, an A++ at 130% and multiple stars because you are pretty awesome knowing um, some basic right angle trigonometry. Now, let's go back to uh, this setup right over here, okay? So here we decided that we were going to use the tangent because we had the opposite and the adjacent side. Now, if I was uh, so inclined, I could have used the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, okay, to solve and get the hypotenuse and get the h value right there, okay? I could have easily done that. And once I had the hypotenuse, I could have used these other functions like cosine or sine to get the same answer. But again, that's not necessary. As long as you have two pieces of information in a right triangle, just use whatever particular function that goes with uh, um, the problem, right? So here I had, again, the opposite and the adjacent that uh, led me to be like, oh, I must use the tangent, not the sine or cosine. But if this is your first um, introduction to trigonometry, well, hopefully it was an exciting one. You can see that there's no other way I can solve for this angle 
here without uh, using basic right angle trigonometry. This is the whole value of learning trigonometry. And again, uh, this is an introduction to trigonometry. Trigonometry is much, much more advanced. So uh, a couple of suggestions here. If you want to know more about uh, trigonometry, I have additional videos on my YouTube channel uh, in it. But if you just want to learn basic right angle trigonometry, um, I have uh, I teach that in my uh, geometry course. If you want to learn everything about trigonometry, you want to check out my pre-calculus course. That I really get into some advanced, advanced trigonometry. And believe me, it can get pretty advanced for sure. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.